of all, in this tutorial we are going to be looking at how to register web hosting. So we'll look at two types, the registration for the local type of hosting. So if you have hosting local to your country, for example my country is Nigeria, so we'll look at a hosting provider in Nigeria, then we'll also look at a foreign provider, how to register a domain name and link it up with our hosting. So local provider we are using is fubohost.com our custom link is so you can type www.ng44.com slash mob slash fubohost that's w-h-o-g-o-h-o-s-t this will take you to fubohost website Once there, you see the menu that has different sections, domains, hosting, website, security. If you want to register a domain name, go to domains. Today, we are registering hosting. There are different types of hosting. There's shared hosting, there's dedicated hosting, there's virtual server hosting, and a couple of others. But if you are beginning, you can use shared hosting. Shared hosting is usually better for lower traffic websites, and they tend to be cheaper. They have their own advantages and disadvantages, but if you are starting out, you can start out with shared hosting. Now, Google Host has various shared hosting plans, Aspire, Premium, Pro, Pro Plus, Giant, with different capacities. If you are just beginning, we suggest you go with the Premium account. Just beginning, we suggest you go with the premium plan, which has 4 gigabytes of web, web space. As of the time of creating this tutorial, we also have 15 gigabyte bandwidth, which is good enough for a handful of starter websites. To register for the premium plan, you scroll to the button that says choose plan and click it. If you want other plans, you click on the corresponding buttons for those plans. Now you are taken to the place where you are asked to choose a domain name. You should already have thought of the kind of domain you want to create, maybe the domain name. It may or may not be available, but the first thing you do is to type it into this place and you check. It is by default giving you a .com.ng extension, but if you want other types of extensions, you click this down arrow and you can see the difference here, .net, .ng, .tv, .mobi and so on. So today we are going to be creating a website called resale.com.ng. Resale is a common word, so usually most of these common words will already have been registered, especially if it's a .com or a .net, but if we are lucky, we may still have this available because it's a .com.ng. Unfortunately, it's already taken. So if it's already taken, you see a red notice there telling this domain already exists in our database, so you cannot be ordered again. If you see something like this message, it means you have to select a different domain name. So, we have some alternatives that we already thought of. ResaleRights.com.ng Let's see if that will go. Yay! Congratulations! ResaleRights.com.ng is available. So, take note, we actually want to take the host they would usually if it's your first time hosting with them or purchasing a particular plan they would, they would give you an offer of a free domain name so that free domain name is actually not free forever just free for the first one year and subsequent years you need to renew it by paying them for .com.ng the renewal rate as at the time of this tutorial is 1500 naira if you want to register it for a year, if you want to take advantage of the free offer, you have to register it for one year first. So you do this as one year. Congratulations, it's available. Then you move to a... Meanwhile, before we do that, if you are getting a domain name that was registered with another host or registrar, 
as they are called, you have to select transfer a domain from another register. And if you already have the domain registered elsewhere and you just want to use the hosting from Google Host, then you have to select the other button. I use my existing domain and update my name servers. Remember name servers. Okay, so we can go ahead, scroll below, read everything there. Other domains you might be interested in. You can skip these. They are just trying to market to you. Skip those and click on continue. taking to the page that summarizes what is there in the order so look through make sure it's what you want premium for gigabytes check the cost 6000 naira we are good to go so if you want to pay these are the different billing cycles you only get the free domain if you are paying for one year upwards but if you are paying for less than you don't get the free domain we want the free domain so we'll pay for one year Select one here and click continue. So again, it's telling you to review. Now you can see here that it confirms that your domain registration is zero naira, while the hosting is six thousand naira. If everything looks good to you, click on checkout. So if you are purchasing from them for the very first time, you need to enter all this information. You need to enter your personal information, your address, and your any other information you are asked to enter. So we'll just go right ahead and start filling them. We we'll use Your phone number, try to use a phone number that is still active. For billing address, you can use your address or you can use an address that is accessible to you. Company name is optional, so we'll skip that. Street address. So if your street address is on two lines, you put it on the other line. If not, you go to city. Entire city. Entire state. And the postcode. For Nigerians, the postcode, some people like using 234001, but that is not exactly the correct postcode for Nigeria. You may enter it in Mago, but we prefer to use the correct postcode. Now, this is the postcode for Benin City. Zero 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 one. If you don't know the postcode for your city and you are in Nigeria, you could use three zero 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 one. It doesn't really matter. If you are from a different country, select a country. If not, pick Nigeria. You can skip this. Where did you hear about us? Then the domain registrant information. The information you entered above is the information for your Google Host account. But if you also want to use the same information to be associated with your domain name, then you can leave this. If you want to change it, add a new contact. So the implication of leaving it is this. When people, there, there are some um, public searches that people can use to find out the details of who owns any particular domain. 
So if you use your real personal information to register your domain, it means anybody searching will be able to find that information. If you are not comfortable with that, you can use a different information. There's nothing stopping you. But if you don't really mind, or if you don't really mind, if you don't really mind, but if you don't really mind, you can leave it like that. So, and then you need to select a password to use. So, we can use. Now, this password thing could be challenging for some people because the system insists that you need to use a strong password. What is a strong password? A strong password is a password that has both uppercase, that is capital letters, lowercase, that is small letters, and a couple of numbers and possibly a character involved. So we use a large a capital letter, small letters, and make sure it's more than eight characters long. A number, another number, and a character. And you put that password again. So if you enter your password, when you see the green line, it shows that it's strong enough. Then you enter it again on this color. Make sure your payment information is okay. And then below that, you have to choose how you wish to pay. So if Google Host offers bank payment. They also offer PayPal. Quick Teller, which is for Nigerian um, ATM cards, a MasterCard branded cards, also cash envoy, the same thing. So we want to use our ATM card to pay. The process of payment, whether for bank or ATM, is similar, but we use our ATM. So for that, we are going to use Quick Teller. Select Quick Teller. Scroll down. Here is a list of the different um, charges depending on how you are planning to pay. So luckily enough for us, Quick Teller seems to have the lowest additional cost. All these are additional costs. If you are paying with PayPal, it means you have to pay extra 321 Naira according to this table. That may change in the future. Quick Teller, we have 1.5% of what we are paying for. That's the extra we pay. So once we've done that, select I have read and agree to the terms and click on complete order okay so we had an error it says the password we entered did not match so we need to go back and enter that password again go back select agree to their terms try again so if all goes well they should take us to the shopping cart where we will be able to make our payment network seems to be a little slow okay Alright, so it brings out the invoice. If you are paying with any other form of payment, you will also see this invoice and you will see either a button here or instructions on how to pay. So we are paying with Quick Teller, there's a button. If for some reason you want to change the payment method at this point, you can still do that. So if we should select bank payment now, it's going to refresh the page and present us with information on how to pay through the bank. So for bank payment information, for bank payment, if you are using the bank payment method, you will notice that in this section, there's no longer a button. Instead, there are instructions on what to do after making the payment. So it says once your payment is made, send a mail to billing at googlehost.com. So if you are paying through the bank, here are the different account numbers that you can use. So you pay into any of these accounts and then you come back and you send them an email to billing at hugohost.com. When you are sending that email, make sure you include this invoice number in the email and you send it to them. But we are not paying through the bank, let's go back to our quick teller. So quick teller will bring us back to the this where there's a button and we can click that button once it shows up okay so we are here now pay with quick teller as in your atm card click on that and it pops up a new window 
whatever payment form. 